On September 24, 1958, an aerial engagement took place between the PLAAF MiG-17s and Taiwanese Air Force F-86 Sabres. Taiwan got nine confirmed kills using their brand new air-to-air -air missile, the GAR-9, which you today know as the AIM-9 Sidewinder. This was the first use of AIM-9 in combat, and during this very first use, something unexpected happened. GAR-9 was a surprise for the Chinese, but on the same day, a surprise was about to come for the Americans. One of the Sidewinders traveling at the speed of Mach 4 successfully struck the Chinese MiG-17, but failed to detonate and got embedded in the fuselage of the PLAAF MiG-17, which made a safe landing. The missile was extracted successfully from the jet and sent to the Soviet Union. Within three years, the Vimpel K-13, or AA-2 Atoll, came into service with the Soviet Air Force. But the story doesn't end here. MiG-21 over the skies of Vietnam crushed the U.S. Air Force aircraft using this short-range air-to-air infrared missile, or taste of America's own medicine, I mean missile. 